Alrighty, hello there. Hello, 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 hello. Rob here from robshealthcoach.com in Cambodia, in beautiful Cambodia. Standing outside the Starbucks, Starbucks here in Cambodia, which is beautiful. Beautiful location, beautiful place. Really, really nice. It's the former fish market. And there's the old bridge on the river here, which is wonderful. And then it goes downstream to the, the new seahorse fountain down there. Anyway, this is just a quick little uh, video I want to make because there's a few folks out there who have a little, bit, a little bit of a misunderstanding about me and who I am and what I do. So it's funny. And yes, we know that social media is full of trolls and there can be a lot of haters too. I've been, recently been really upping the game on YouTube to try to get people more information about health, fitness and food, the ketogenic diet, how to get it started, how to maintain it how to lose weight, how to get strong, how to, how to really, you know, become balanced in life and happy and healthy. Now, I've been doing this for 10 years, right? And I'm a certified health coach and well, nutritionist primarily and health coach and trainer. So, uh, mistakenly, some guys, a couple of people wrote some comments to me and I just want to talk about that briefly. One, that, one message on YouTube today was after a, a video I posted yesterday recommending bodyweight workouts as the best form of strength training using your body as a gym such as push-ups planks squats lunges uh, pull-ups headstands handstands that's what i do i've been doing it for the last eight years i haven't been to a gym since okay and he, he wrote this guy is doling out fitness uh, advice without any scientific proof I'm like what so what scientific proof <laughs> what is there scientific about working out there's nothing going to the gym it's proven using those uh, machines, particularly the free weights are better because that's just your natural movement. But the problem with the free weights is most people overdo the weights, the, 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 the lifting, the heavy weights and go too too heavy and then they pull the muscle or hurt a joint, etc. The machines are, are not natural. They're not aligned with our natural body movement. So they're very bad for your uh, joints and overall body health. Okay, that's a fact. And that is scientifically proven. Now, if you exercise using your body as your gym, with natural movements that, every, that humans have been doing for centuries, if not millions of years, in its military style, basically, it's called military style. That's how they exercise in the military. Oh, always on the ground, in the dirt, using your body as gym, climbing up walls, push-ups, planks, all the rest of it, okay, and pull-ups, and then, you know, the, the monkey thing, or whatever, in the bar, you forget what you call it. So, so anyway, I am highly qualified to recommend those training methods. Not just because of what I just said, but because I am a former professional athlete. I was at Olympic Games in 1988 in downhill racing in Slalom. I did very, very well at the age of 18. I came 21st out of 120. I was very young, you know. At 15, the youngest ever British champion. Uh, I, I started, my, I, I won my first race in Austria, beating all the Austrians when I was six years old. So I started my, my training at, at four or five years of age. And I trained and got better and better but profes professionally until 20 when I ended my career with a big crash and broke my leg badly. So I've gone through all of the training stages, stages the hardcore training that professional athletes do. And I know what it did to my body. And I know now that that training then is extreme and that's what extreme professionals have to do. But I also know that it's not good for their bodies. And that many people today die, many professional athletes, many sports enthusiasts, uh, many regular people who just push themselves too hard in the gym, go running too hard, do too much CrossFit, etc., die prematurely of a heart attack or stroke because they release cortisol in their bloodstream, and that is extremely bad for your health because it does build up clog the arteries and, and you know release the cortisol, which then causes, causes heart disease and stroke and heart attack. Okay, so please, what, what the methods I subscribe are absolutely the best because they're gentle to, to mid. You can go as hard as you want using your body, and they can, they can be so so powerful. You know. It's, using the handstand, the headstand. You know, you can do if you can do 50 push-ups, great, you can do 60, 70, do 80, do 100 without stopping. That's hard. Stay in the negative push-up. Stay there for two minutes. Try that. <laughs> so you won't be able to manage for 30 minutes, 30 seconds. Anyway, so whatever I re re recommend is because I do it myself. It's very successfully. I've done it with hundreds of clients and it works. So please understand that I'm a nutritionist former professional Olympian, athlete, 
and I know what I'm talking about when it comes to fitness, health, nutrition, food, well-being, wellness, okay? All right then. I can't remember what the other guy said. It'll come to me. What did he say? There's another, another silly post saying something along those lines that I didn't know what I was talking about or whatever. Can't help the trolls. Robshealthcrunch.com and travel. And don't forget to go to robshealthcrunch.com and follow me there. Subscribe, please, for the best health tips you'll ever get. And also go to my YouTube channel. Subscribe and follow me there, please. And share, share the word. Share my, my, my blog and my, my YouTube channel around to your friends and family just to help me spread the help. Okay? Love you for that, guys. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.